While Mrs. Brickzar has missed They Might Be Bricks and myself while we were going to Philly Brick Fest, one of the things she hasn't missed is how I junk up the dining room table. <laughs> so in this video, I got to put a dent in this. I've already unloaded the van, I put some of the things here somewhere in the basement. But one of the things I need to do is go through the mail that we have received while I was gone. And there's quite a bit. Some of this is going to be for Train Czar and some of this is for Brick Czar. But I got to get this mess cleaned off today. So let's start by going through the mail for Brick Czar. All right. So this is the uh, non-Philly Brickfest haul. This is things we ordered either from eBay or Bricklink and they came while I was gone or from Lego Shop at Home. There is Carl the mailman. He has delivered. Some of this will be for, that's not train czar, that's a, just a regular train guy. Where did train czar go? There's Brig czar. All right. <laughs> All right, so some of these, like I said, are for train czar. This package up here actually is from totally Thomas Town. You can tell it's Thomas and Friends. That's the heaviest package by far. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And I think this one came from Japan. And that is for Trains Are Fun. So all the rest of these are for Bricks Are. Yay! All right, we'll start with this one. This one actually I got before Philly Brickfest, but I did not. I don't think I did a video on it. This is what we did to get the free Darth Vader pod. That's the only reason we placed this order is to get the free pod. So I got some Star Wars sets that I did not have, which included General Grievous and Mace Window. Window? Window. Mace Window. <laughs> Love Samuel L. Jackson. And we got uh, Yoda's hut. Yoda! Yoda, one of my favorite characters. All right, and then we got this one with the, the big forehead guy. And we got the Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter. I don't think I had that one before. And we picked up another free minifigure factory. So I think it was worth it just to get the two free items. Oh, and I think we got the full collection of 2 by 2 uh, stickers now we got the blue so we yeah i'm pretty sure we got all of them i don't know where all of them are but that was the first box all right so we'll do the next one now while i was in philly i had my yellow cutters and they were in my pocket i had to take an uber a car broke down turned out i could have taken the hotel courtesy van uh, i didn't know about courtesy vans thanks to robbie blocks for teaching me about that <laughs> but the um courtesy van would have taken me uh, to the the Firestone place I went to because it's within the distance to go but unfortunately <laughs> I didn't know about that so anyway the cutters were in my pocket I had a ton of stuff in my pockets and when I got out she dropped me off and I went inside I was like oh my cutters are gone but at least I didn't lose something like my phone so the, the famous yellow cutters are gone all right this is a BrickLink order whoa snap a sealed snap set Whoa, snap. Wow. What year did this come out? 1999. So I got a sealed snap set. It's not all that impressive, but pretty cool that it's sealed. And I got some mosaic parts and some printed space logos for that. In case I need those for any space sets that we build in the future. A bunch of one by one black pieces. That is for the mosaic. And... What else do we got in here? I'm supposed to be getting more of these, uh, but the large logo panel piece and the large uh, yellow panel piece there. Uh, there's the guy's going to be sending me. If I, yeah, I ordered these, and then anyway, I'll probably get an extras then. Uh, so any, anyway, I got the pink shower thing, and of course the pink seated toilet probably one of the most iconic most important lego pieces ever made next up is this package which is from ebay they had it wrapped surrounded by cardboard ah yes so we have the sell and fly marina instructions and also got the instructions for this this is actually a train station i used to own i sold it a long time ago i may be able to piece it together i'm not 100 percent sure but i'll go ahead and get the instructions and start working on gathering the pieces together uh, the sticker pieces the clock some of those things may be tougher to get this lattice piece things like that but 
other than that, I could probably piece most of this together from parts in my collection or pick up some extra. Hey, look, there's a Maniacs for Bricks torso right there. All right, so now I got the Sell and Fly Marina instructions as well as the stickers from a previous haul. So plus in, that along with the one that I bought uh, will get me closer to finishing one of our top wanted sets for 2018. Let's get the next box. We'll do this package. I'm not going to review this right now or just going to show it to you. Let's see what this is. Ah, it is the Brick Journal 50. Brick Journal is my favorite Lego magazine. There are some others that have to do with blocks, all good magazines as well. But I like Joe Mino, and we've been collecting this for a while. I think there's only one actual print edition that we don't have. Uh, but we had to have the digital versions of everything they've made, and I've tried to get all of the print versions. But this is a special double-sized... Oh, it's got a miniature Titanic made by the Brick Nerd. So that is going to be awesome. I'll, uh, Brick Nerd, um, Tommy Williamson, he makes some really cool creations, so having that in there, and it's just neat. Oh, they have featured a lot of stuff. Micro Cities. I said I wasn't going to review this. A lot of builds in here. I highly recommend this magazine. Uh, like I said, I think it's the best Lego magazine out there. All right, let's do... Oh, I got so much to shoot. Let's do this, the big box from Old Navy first. Not actually from Old Navy. This is an eBay purchase. I'm pretty sure this eBay always cut away from you. If I ever have a knife sticking out of my chest, you'll know it's. I did it to myself. Supposed to cut away, cut away, cut away. Right. I couldn't pass up on this, and this better be as it was described, I'm hoping. I'll just cut towards myself again. All right, one, this actually has Lego and train-related items that aren't Lego, so these will go over for uh, Trains Are Fun. They, this is actually four different auctions. I'll give you a sneak peek of this because it does tie in a little bit with Lego. It is the wooden blocks. Kind of a version of the ICE train. It's made by Plan Toys. It's not licensed as ICE, but it says PT for Plan Toys. But, you know, the white passenger train that LEGO has had out forever. So I'm going to do a comparison of some different versions of these. And that's why I got that. So not LEGO related, but it does tie in a little bit with LEGO. But that's where trains are. And another video. But, uh, this is what... I found so amazing. Yep, and it is. Now, I had these when they came out. And I opened mine, and the bricks are all mixed in uh, with everything else these days, except for the silver brick. These are actually sealed. Still got the uh, strap around them. 3025 and 3027. So this is the freestyle. This is the, um, what do they call this one? Just a basic... I don't know, but it's got the limited edition silver brick, and it's just amazing uh, to find a sealed copy. There's the inventories on that one. This one doesn't have an inventory. 601 pieces there, 411 there. They were a pretty good price. They actually weren't much more than what they cost new back in the day when these came out, which this came out, I think, when did this come out? It's the 25 lemon. It's 1998. Then I'm thinking. Let me see here. It's got the yep, yeah, 98, 98. And you might be saying, why is it 25 year anniversary? And it came out in 98. It's the 25 years. It says of building imagination. Yeah. Y'all tell me in the comments below why you think these are 25 years, whereas the things we got today, 20 years later, are the 60th anniversary. Obviously, the math doesn't add up has something to do with the U.S., I do believe, right there. I know, I'm pretty much sure. I know why, but I'm just going to leave it to you to see if you can figure out why. All right, we'll do the next bigger box. This came, I think, from Bricklink from Austria. Hey, I visited Austria. My family did. We went over the summer last year in 2017. Beautiful country. Oh, just loved Vienna. Uh, I could live there. It's just a beautiful place. It's easy to get around in there with the uh, the train and things like that. But this is... Oh, yes. Okay. This is definitely my, my Bricklink order. Let's see what we have. 
bunch of parts there, bunch of parts there, parts there, parts there, and instructions here. All right. So one of these bags will have this set, one of my top wanted sets for 2018, and one of them will have this set. Not one of my top wanted sets for 2018, but a set I definitely wanted. Which one? This must be, I'm thinking, yeah, this is the crane here. And this is the intermodal style car. Awesome. And then I got some random black pieces. It's funny, I need these two by four black plates, and then I ended up finding them on a pick a brick wall, I think. And, and um, somewhere but that is a brick link order so we got one more teeny tiny package which may have the most unusual items of all all right this is from switzerland what do we have and i've probably paid way too much for this way 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 too much yep this is exactly what i thought <sighs> it's just a bunch of bricks bricks are Bricks are likes bricks. These are slotted bricks. You see the slot? Some bricks have two slots. Some only have one. There are several different versions of the slotted brick. These predate the bricks that we have of today, even the tubeless bricks of 1958. The, or the, no, the, the, the tube was always there. The, the ones with the cross support came after that, but these are the tubeless bricks, I should say. So these are before 1958. Let me get them all out of here. Now I got tape on them. I got it's basically all the different colors. Well, I don't know if it's all of them, but it's most of the main colors. Let's get it closer where you can see. All right. So they're cellulose acetate, and you may be saying, well, there's no logo on the brick, and there's not, but on the back it does say Lego. And then there's different styles of the logo there. I'll turn them all around. And I think that these are the ones that are more similar to the Kitty Craft bricks, which people love to say that Lego stole. Uh, they did not steal them. If you don't have a copyright on something, you can't really say it's being stolen. But uh, these are Lego lo I'm going to have to come off the tripod. I have no idea if you can see that. My eyesight's so bad, but they do have the Lego logo on the inside. Pretty cool and pretty rare. These, sometimes the individual individual bricks go for more than what I paid for the whole lot. That's why I didn't feel like feel it was a bad deal. But I wasn't sure if I had the trans clear, but it's so nice to get one of each of these different colors here. There may be more colors. I'm not all up to speed on everything that they made in the slotted era. I do know that there are different, like I said before, different versions of the slots. Some double slots, some single slots, some side slots like this one has. So there are several different uh, slotted bricks. But that's pretty amazing to me. So I know that this, this might not be really that interesting to a lot of you. I may do more videos on the different types of bricks that LEGO has made over the years. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But that will do it for the haul. What was your favorite part? Was it that I got more train stuff? These sealed sets that I got a pretty good bargain on. The sealed snap. That's got to be it. The Star Wars set to get the free battle pod. The brick journal. The Lego instructions. Oh no, I know what it was. It was the toilet seat like a scene from 2001 a space odyssey wasn't that one of the scenes in the movie i can't remember anyway thanks so much for watching this video brigzar has done it again i don't know what that just meant what i just said <laughs> oh i'm tired i drove all day yesterday to get back from philly breakfast i'm filming this on the day after i don't know when it'll upload but uh, pretty neat. That's the stuff that we ordered. Now I got to do something for Trains Are to go through these uh, boxes. If you're interested in that, be sure to check out Trains Are Fun. But we will see you in the next video.